How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 3 for another off-road build. Now, today we have the 1979 Toyota FG40, yet again, a barn find vehicle, and we are going to be uh, making it off-road. I think I want to do some rock climbing, exploring, ramps, all sorts of stuff. I don't really know. Nothing specific, but we're going to build the car. We're going to make it off-road. We're going to make it a little faster. So... Let's get started. Oh, and before I begin, I just want to show you guys the Gingium Club. That's right. We have our own club now on Forza Horizon 3. So go join. We already have 184 members, and I haven't even made a video on it yet. So that's crazy. Club tag Gium. Like, Gingium, you know. Brap was taken, and Ging was taken. So that's the only thing I can think of. Huge shout out to all the people who have joined. That's really awesome to see you guys in here. The club's already level 25, which I think is decent. I don't really know. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, go join the club and go earn us some XP. Now, stock, this thing is really slow. I don't know how much power it has off the top of my head, but it's not a lot. But I mean, it still does decently off-road. It's all-wheel drive. It does soak up bumps decently, and oh, 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 this is gonna be cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it still soaks up bumps. It still has decent suspension. The platform is good. The vehicle itself may not be very good, but ooh, rocks. Can we go over rocks? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, look. Rolled back to where we began. All right, rock crawling. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, you know, it's so lame, but yet it's actually really fun to do that in this game. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's go build it. Yeah, so the stock motor only makes 135 horsepower and 210 foot-pounds of torque, so it's, it's not it's not a lot. You know, these three engine swaps are in every single car, and I think that is incredibly lame. I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it with the stock powertrain. We don't need a lot of power. We're not trying to go super fast, but, um... We will supercharge it, definitely. We probably will have to upgrade it quite a lot. I mean, well, actually, the camshaft did a decent amount of power. Uh, <laughs> we're at 265. Yeah, I mean, we're probably going to have to fully upgrade this thing. And even fully upgraded, it's really not that great. 343 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. But you know what? That's okay. We're not we're not making this thing to go fast in a straight line. We're making this thing to have fun off-roading. So, good enough. Let's just go ahead and get some big tires on here. We can get 245s. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And, of course, off-road race tires, which do look pretty awesome. Wheels, wheels, wheels. I'm thinking some steely, something like this. In fact, that's pretty good. Or this. Yeah, those are a little better. So, we're going to do some Kragers. Oh, we do have quite a bit of stuff we can do to this car customization-wise. We got that, we got that, and we got that. You know, definitely this one. It's got a winch. It's got a little bash bar. Pretty cool. I'm thinking spare tire plus roof rack. That looks pretty dope. Side skirts, we can add some mud flaps. Front mud flaps aren't doing anything. They're not even lined up with the wheels. What is the point of that? <laughs> what? Okay, and then we can add a snorkel. Cool. All right, so this thing looks more off-roady. Go ahead and get some rail It doesn't lift it at all. Come on. <laughs> I just want to lift. I'm going to go ahead and get street brakes. I think drilled and slotted rotors just doesn't look right. So street brakes, front and rear anti-sway bar. Yeah, sure. And weight reduction, which gets rid of 628 pounds. Not bad. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fully upgrade the drivetrain. Uh, especially differential is going to be really nice. We can lock the diff. That way, when we're doing some mad rock climbing, we're not open diffing and shit. Now, the question is, what do I paint this? I'm thinking maybe like a matte black. Matte black is too dark. What about like a matte gray? Ooh, matte gray isn't bad. In fact, that looks kind of good. Black windows sure why not and black wheels uh how does that look oh that looks pretty good that looks really good i, I know that's exactly what i did on the panel van but it looks really good so <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stick with it i mean this thing definitely looks sick Ooh, what's this oh mm. it's absolutely nothing that's the answer to that question so here's our land cruiser it's uh it's pretty cool it looks good uh it it's kind of boxy especially in the back i think it should be a little longer i don't know and it's not bad speed wise i mean 80 that's 90 it's 100 it's definitely not fast but it's not slow i mean it's not really slow how does it off road that's the question hitting this bump again 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I definitely saw it. Yeah. I definitely just saw the tire go through the fender. That's not right. Oh, shit. We already got some hill climbs here, boys. Can we make it up the hill? Oh, no problem. No wheel spin whatsoever. Wow, it's not that hard. Question is, can this thing rally? I'm guessing no, because it's kind of the boat. Even though it only weighs 3,000 pounds, it's still kind of the boat. Oh, a little bit of air there. Right. Oh. Yeah, it's not. It, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not the most responsive handling-wise. It's not awful, though. Oh, that's a turn. That's a turn. Shit. Well, there's a river down here, and there's rocks. So, you know what time it is. Start with something easy, like this. Can I get up this? Come on! No, I can't get grip. All right. Uh, a, little, a little more speed. Oh, uh, no! Oh, uh, it stalled. It stalled. There we go. Up the hill. Up the rocks. Oh. Uh oh It's still solved. Okay, you know what? For rock climbing, manual is kind of necessary. Otherwise, you'll just keep stalling, and that really messes things up. So, there we go. No clutch. What about this left side? It's a little more bumpy. Oh. <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> I just want to be able to ease myself up it, though, you know? It's not possible. It's too steep. It is possible over here, though. Just boom. 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 Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. What about over here? This looks pretty easy. Oh, shit. The rocks are just really slippery. We did it, but the rocks are really slippery. Oh, God. That's a big drop off. See if I can just, like, drive up onto the top of this rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right over. That's the one problem with this car. Last patch of rocks. I don't think we're getting anywhere with these. Nope. <laughs> I just flipped us right over. Come on. Nope. Nope. No, those rocks are too tall. They're too tall. And flipped right over again. We can drive onto them from the top. What about a little rock descent? Oh, God. Oh, God. Too much flex. Too much flex. <laughs> See, look. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, it just, like, kicks us off. Okay, well, that was some rock fun. There's a lot of cool stuff up in this area, so we're gonna head over there. Try off-road in that direction. So here's a cool little industrial area we can have some fun with. I mean... Yes! Made it onto the roof. It's fun. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no! Oh. I wanna try to get onto that conveyor belt. Oh, no! Ah, oh, I was up there for a second. And now I'm stuck. All right, straight under the conveyor belt, and get a picture. How did I get up there? The world will never know, besides everyone who watched this video, <laughs> which is a lot of people. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, wait, are we stuck up here? Oh, we're stuck up here. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move a muscle. No, no, no! Hey, we landed though. The best part about this area is these cool, like, wooden ramps, because you just go like, boom, get mad air. Oh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Oh, oh, go over this one. Oh, up, oh, down. Yeah, this thing sucks up bumps pretty well, but it just it bugs me seeing the tire go for the fender every time you hit a really big bump. It's just one of those things I don't like. I don't like in my games, but it definitely soaks up bumps well. Ooh, speaking of bumps, way, way. Oh, ooh, little fast travel board. Oh, shit. Did you guys see that? Almost rolled. It's, it's, a little, it's a little too easy to roll in this game. Watch. All right. Come on. Roll. Ah, oh, we were definitely on two wheels, but we didn't roll. That's the nice thing about this vehicle is that you can pretty much go the same speed you can on normal roads except off-road. So it makes travel times a lot, a lot quicker. Oh, I mean, look at that. Just boom. No problems whatsoever. Destination two miles away. And here we are. Come on, come on, power, there we go. I was driving around here in a Ford Raptor the other day. It was really fun, just kind of a cool place of uh, Jeep got in my way. That seems like a Jeep thing to do. 
Wait. Oh, God. It's too low. It's not lifted enough, so it, it bottoms out every time you go over something like this fast. Like, oh, of course it doesn't do it then. I wasn't going fast enough. There we go. It's that ungodly noise of metal hitting metal. Come on. Wheel spinning. But pff, no problem. No problem. Oh. Wait, do you see that up there? It's a 20,000 point XP board. We're gonna go get that. We just need some speed up here. And yeah. Oh, shit. You need speed, but you can't have too much speed. Otherwise, you just go off the other end. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, okay, we made it. We made it. Oof. And our little XP board is right here. Yeah, wheel spin as I'm falling off the roof. All right. Give me something good, please. That's not good. Oh, and we. Oh, corkscrew. Not really. <laughs> Didn't land it. Oh, look, it's a critic guy. Yes, EK Drifter, you're going down. Going in on the left. Oh, shit, he's trying to block me. Okay, all right. I'm a really big boat, so I can't handle. I mean, the Ford Raptor handles better than me, and he weighs like half of what I do. I meant twice as what I do. <laughs> Ugh. He's running me off the road. Understeer, oversteer, this thing cannot handle for shit. That's okay, something happened to him. He's going slow now. Around the corner, around the corner, and across the line. I win, and I get $55,000. Lame, oh, I got another wheel spin. Please make up for what you did. I think that's a really expensive car, so I'll be happy. Well, guys, I think that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed. I thought it was something different. You know, everyone's doing the drag build, the top speed, the drifting. I think the best thing about this game is off-roading. Like, the off-roading and the rallying, just... There are some really cool off-road spots in this map. So I wanted to build this barn find vehicle and show them to you guys. So hopefully you did enjoy that. Uh, if you want any more off-roading, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I definitely want to make a trophy truck. And I definitely want to do some rallying. As always, guys, if you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. really does mean the world to me. We're at 123,000 subscribers. One, two, three. And hopefully the silver plaque, pla plaque is coming soon. Also, check out my other forms of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I currently don't have a phone right now, so I might not be responsive on those for the next couple of days, but I'll be getting it back soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and peace out. It does some pretty good skins, actually. Not too bad for having no tune right now. It's really not, yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's got a thousand horsepower, so if you got a thousand horsepower.